Hobby Games TV. Hey gamers, I'm Hobby Dude, and today we are going to show you how to make a portal to get to the netherworld in Minecraft. So uh, we're going to do this game in survival mode, and for the sake of showing you how to do the portal, we're just going to play it on easy. So let's go ahead and get this loaded. So to get started, um, you're going to need a diamond pickaxe. Um, you're also going to need, let's see if I can find it here, yeah, uh, you're going to need flint and steel, and just in case, go ahead and get yourself a bucket. If you have several buckets, go ahead and get um, quite a bit of buckets actually. So what we're going to do is, once we've got that, we need to go get obsidian. So to get obsidian, uh, there's several ways you can get it. If you have access to a lava pit, um, you can go ahead and try to get lava in your bucket and throw the bucket into some water. Um, sometimes that'll make obsidian, sometimes it'll turn it into stone. So it's really just um, kind of a 50-50 shot there. But since I have access to some lava, um, I'll show you how to do it here. Go ahead and grab some lava. So we got some lava in the bucket. And then what we really want to do is mine for some obsidian. So we're going to go ahead and try to find that. I should have brought a sword with me because I forgot that we're going to be encountering uh, some monsters here. There we go. And when I've been digging through um, my tunnels, I came across this uh, patch of obsidian. So we're just going to go ahead and start mining this out. It takes about, I think, 10 to 15 seconds, even with a diamond pickaxe, to uh, mine out a block of obsidian. So you're probably going to need about 16, 17 pieces of obsidian in order to make a portal to the netherworld. So this is going to take a little while. So. For the sake of the video, I'll go ahead and just fast forward this part. So I grabbed 20 pieces, um, just some extra. You don't need 20 pieces. Uh, you can make a, a portal to the netherworld um, with less. Let's go ahead and go back up here. And I don't know for sure if that lava bucket is going to work. We can try it out. Um, so we'll go ahead and test that. And I'll also show you, um, just in case you haven't seen it, I've already built a portal and have been to the netherworld, but I'll show you how and where I built mine. And then we'll go ahead and build this one too. So it's up to you where you want to build your portal. Um, I built mine here, underground, because I wasn't for sure um, knowing if if the creatures could come through the other side, I haven't seen them um, be able to do it, but this is my portal here, so we'll go ahead and build one. Uh, I just realized I'm kind of stuck. There we go. So let's build one. Um, let's go right here. So what you're going to do is, let's kind of get in the middle here. You lay it down. So you need three. And then, technically, you don't need these ones on the side. Um, and then you're gonna go f uh, three up from there. You're gonna go one, two, three. And then, one, two, three. And then, you're gonna go one, two, three, four. That hurt. Sorry. Ouchie. Let's get my dirt here. There we go. So that took 16 pieces of obsidian to do. Now if you don't have uh, 16 pieces or are running short, um, I did learn this, that you can actually take out the bottom corners here. So you can take out the bottom corner, um, bottom corner pieces and the top corner pieces if you can't get your hands on that much obsidian or 
don't want to do it. So once you've got that built, it needs to have three squares by three squares by three squares by three squares. squares. So um, that's what's it, three, six, nine, 12. So you need at least 12 pieces of obsidian in order to make um, a portal. So let's go ahead and light this now. And now we have a portal. To me, it just feels incomplete without the obsidian, so I'm just gonna go ahead and place it back. And then what we're gonna do is, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and go through the portal and see how we did. Wow, you see that? There was a pig man right there, and that's what I mean. I don't know if they can come through and, you know, where is this? Oh, cool, okay. So I have two portals, and even though I built them in separate locations, it brought me through my original portal um, that I originally built in the game. Ah, cool. So I'll show you around uh, my, uh, where did I put it? Here. My netherworld. So I have to go like up these stairs in order to go around. And, ah, uh, hello, ghast. Here's a huge ghast. Ah! Man. And I forgot my bow and arrows and sword, so completely not prepared for, oh my goodness. I don't even think, yeah, I've got full armor, so thankful for that. Uh, oh wow. Let's see if I can head back here. Um, lost. Can't remember. Oh my goodness. There's another. There's another ghast. Oh my gosh. I have to get out of here. Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Totally. Oh. Hello. You. Get away from me. Oh, let's go back home. <laughs> oh goodness. Woo! Okay. Totally not prepared for that. Uh, not prepared for this either. I need to fix my land here. I got it all blown up because of Floyd exploding my uh, thing over here because I did the TNT on him. Um, whew, so that was the nether. <laughs> and, um, you know, let's go have some fun in there. So. I need, uh, let's see, bows and arrows, sword, and some food. Let's go ahead and get that. Let's get those ghasts. Let's see, bow and arrow, we need arrows. And a bow and arrow, bow. What else do we need? Oh yeah, food. Let's get some, uh, Mutton. And I think. Oh, yeah, we need a sword too, huh? Oh, and you can see, like, from when we did the obsidian, even though it's really hard uh, material and substance, you can, um, you can see the power level on the pickaxe, the diamond pickaxe. It just, it lasts forever so nothing to really worry about there of it wearing out your tools so let's see if we can't uh, go back here and get some ghasts why am I already on fire and I don't even know where that lava came from holy cow
Yeah, we got him. Of course, I can't go get the power up level things because. Okay. Um, I hope that totally didn't block my way to get to like the main land here because that would really be a bummer. Yeah. Did it? Yeah, it totally did. So. I don't like the nether. It's very like dangerous and destructive. Oh man. Hello. See that lava is coming to attack me. Okay, let's see if we can go up here. that will stop the lava and I can have access to my uh... that would have been bad go down you can do it good woohoo So in the nether, um, we saw that like pig monster uh, guy thing. Um, they will not attack you unless you attack them. So they'll pretty much just leave you alone. Where's that other gas thing? Was it in here? Oh, he went away. Chicken. But if you do attack like a pig zombie guy monster thing, um, how high they jump. Man. Um, you can sometimes get like gold nuggets or armor and stuff like that. So, oh my goodness, what was that? You gonna see that shift? Weird. I wanna get that gas. Wow, there's a lot of pig guys in here. Man, so I had to mark my way with torches, torches, uh, to find my way back because all this red makes it look completely the same, and it got very confusing. I got lost in here for quite some time. Um, so I recommend just lighting a pathway of torches or anything else, a row of dirt or stone or anything like that, just to kind of find your way through. But this is what my nether world looks like. It's all the same kind of gas. See if we can't get you. It's on easy, so it's gonna be super easy to kill. And don't shoot the tentacles. There we go. Yeah, two, three shots, and they're down, so easy peasy. There. I think the pigmen. I think it's two. Boom. Oh, just kidding. One. Ouch. Yeah, everything's on fire, so... Oh, yeah. I died in here a couple of times. There's like... There's like three or four gas. Ow, those things do follow you, huh? Everything's just on fire. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here so I can stop being attacked. Um, but yeah, oh, this stuff. I need to get some of this stuff actually. And bring it back with me so I can use it for my enemies. Um, I forget the name of this. It is called Soul Sand, 
and when you lay it down it actually like makes you walk slower so their attacks are slower they can't run and get there quite as fast so good to kind of have around uh, for unsuspected enemies uh, that way you can um, slow them down and go on the attack so we'll go and get this guy those guys really don't give you anything other than like green power up level points so we'll go ahead and head back to uh, my house. Oh, that guy. Did you guys see him? He just totally fell. Is he the, like, uh, one that if you get too close it makes you sick? I don't remember. Yeah, it is. Darn it! Just keep living. Just keep living. There we go. Woo okay, so this is like a dangerous place. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Gave me absolutely nothing for beating him. Loser. Loser. Yeah, when I first came down here, there was a gas down in this room here. Imagine this in real life, it'd be so hot. Did that zombie, did that pig guy just like jump out of the lava? Let's see if we can push him in. Oh, you want in on the action too? You. Alright, so let's go ahead and. Ooh, you're a big guy. Wow. It's like the slime ball thing, I forgot about that. No thank you, I'm done. But they do give you... Oh, I forget what those are called too. Yeah, yeah. Aw, oh, the little baby slime, little baby fire square thingies. to select you and throw you away. They give you the Mark Mark Cream. Uh, where do I go? Oh, Lord. I just want to leave and go bye bye. Is there two? No. Getting those green level up points, that's for sure. Stay down. Do I love that much? Okay, no, I'm good. Alright, let us go home. I'm Hobby Dude, and if you guys want to learn how to make anything else, go ahead and write it down in the comments, and I'll be sure to try to do that on one of my next videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next show.